what kinds of problems do industrial engineers solve? Let me give you some examples. This is an example where one of our faculty, together with some students, were working in healthcare, trying to improve how electronic medical records are utilized to make uh, work more efficient for medical staff. So there was a cognitive human factors analysis necessary to uh, improve how these systems work. So a manufacturing oriented one where our faculty developed a simulator to look at, uh, you have a log and then you optimize how that log is cut. So every log is a little different. So you want to maximize the yield that you get out of that. Here's one working with the Department of Transportation uh, using optimization tools to optimize how you route uh, the striping trucks that uh, Department of Transportation uses to, to repaint uh, the stripes uh, every year. And there's sort of routing, there's location issues that need to be optimized on that. Here's one working in the energy industry. Uh, Callaway Nuclear Plant every 18 months does a refuel. So the students work together with faculty to come up with an, an optimization to look at the, how the project schedule particularly with respect to limited space and material handling resources. And another Department of Transportation analysis. This was a simulation model that was developed modeling the trains that go between St. Louis and Kansas City and was trying to determine basically where to put investment that would help both freight and passenger rail uh, performance. Our professional society, IISE, has a great video, Industrial and, and Systems Engineers Make a Difference Everywhere. I encourage you to look at it. It gives other examples of things that IEs have done. If you have questions, contact me. Jim Noble, Director of Undergraduate Studies at uh, noblej.missouri.edu. I look forward to hearing.